you see me smiling. It's it's really really good. We've had a great summer. Uh, you know, Brandon Hall uh, was with us as a pitching coach for 14 years. Did a really good job for us. Got an opportunity outside of coaching that that was really positive for him. Uh, and then we were able to hire Sean Doty in his place. Uh, so Bo and I were kind of, Bo Robinson and I were kind of running around for about six weeks there in a really heavy recruiting period of time. Uh, trying to keep everything, you know, going the right direction, and we were very successful with that. Uh, we got Coach Doty on board here within the last week, and it's been great. We were also able to hire uh, Tyler Simmons as our volunteer coach, and you know, we have not had a volunteer for the last year and a half. So for the first time in, in a long while, we've got a complete coaching staff. Really excited about what we've put together. You know, Bo played here; uh, was an All-American here. Uh, he's ingrained in this community. He's a product of our program, which is, uh, I can't say enough good things about him. You know, with Sean Doty, with our new pitching coach, he's got over 20 years of experience in, in college coaching. He's also coached at the junior college level as well as the high school level. So his interaction with our players is going to be outstanding. And then Tyler Simmons is a young guy just got through playing at Wingate, you know, last year. Uh, you know, very successful uh, high school career at Charlotte Christian. His dad is, has been an uh, ultra successful high school coach, so he's grown up around baseball. So to have the four of us working together, again, you could probably hear the excitement in my voice. Uh, it's been a great uh, last week with all of us together and, and really moving forward with our program plan and, and had some guys really play well this summer and, and make a lot of improvement. And, and uh, there's going to be some really good things moving forward for our program. Well, it's a, it's a good mix with all four of us. You know, Bo's calm. Bo really does a good job of relating with people. Uh, very positive guy with our players. Uh, really good situation. I can be a little bit more the disciplinarian, uh, kind of be the good cop, bad cop sometimes, which you need that. You know, head coach has to be a disciplinarian if you want to have a good program in a positive way. Uh, coach Doty's a little bit more wide open. He's a very high energy guy. Uh, he's a very competitive guy. And I think that's going to be a good mix for our pitching staff and for our position players. We've had several guys that have stopped by the office here this week just to kind of get a feel for what's going on. And they can sense the energy immediately with him. So there's a good mix there. And then again with Tyler. You know, Tyler's going to be a very good coach moving forward. He's getting his feet wet, wet with us now as, you know, as a volunteer. And the dynamic of the four of us working together, I think, is going to be really positive for our program. And I agree with that. You know, and again, it's a it's a matter of putting four people together that we can hit on every single kid in our program, and try to maximize each guy. You know, and and again, I've been doing this for a long time, but I still have a 16 year old daughter. I understand what these kids are going through every day. You know, sometimes my means of communication is a little bit more old school, which I think is good. Uh, because you have to have a balance. Um, and we've got a great balance with our coaching staff now. And again, just really, really excited to get going. I think uh, all of us want to kind of start practice as quickly as we can. We still got to wait a few weeks till classes start. But just excited about not only our coaching staff, but excited about you know the guys that we've signed, the guys we've got coming in for, for this coming fall in terms of recruits, and also the, the, the good head start that we've gotten with the 2017 recruiting class. Well, we, we've gotten better. We've made progress. Really excited about that. We only had three seniors in our program last year, so we're returning a lot of guys. Uh, we've got a good recruiting class that, that's that's going to be here in the fall. You know, as, as incoming freshmen, some junior college guys that we've added. So you know, we've had got guys playing in the Cape Cod League. We've got guys playing in Northwoods League. We got guys playing in local leagues here, whether it be the uh, Coastal Plains League or SCBL. We've got guys all over the place playing. And they've done very well. Had several guys made All-Star teams. Uh, and it's, it's, it's going to be a good situation uh, in terms of the level of competition now that we're going to have. Our roster's a lot deeper now than it's been for the last two or three years. And we're getting closer to having a roster that can compete at the Conference USA level. We're getting a lot closer. We're getting a whole lot closer. And each recruiting cycle that we go through, we're getting closer. And again, we're doing it the right way. You know, we're not cutting kids left and right out of our program. We're not just running kids in and out. We're not over recruiting and devaluing you know, that part of it by shipping them off to junior colleges or shipping them off to Division II schools or, or you know, doing things uh, what I would consider kind of an unethical way, but that's kind of the way it's become, you know, in college baseball at times now. So we're trying to do it the right way. 
Uh, our graduation rate still is well over 90 percent, so we're valuing the academic part of it. Uh, and again, trying to build the roster the right way. So I've said it a hundred times, but you know, we're just really excited about the group we've got coming back, really excited about the new guys we've added to our roster, and not only for this year, for the 2017 season, but for 2018, 2019, 2020, we've got a good base of players to work from, and we're going to continue to recruit at a high level. Yeah, and again, as we talked about before, it was really hard this summer. I mean, we are a two-man show, you know, uh, up until we hired Coach Doty. You know, getting out in a very, very critical time for us recruiting-wise, uh, and uh, it was, it was uh, ended up being a really, really good, good deal in terms of the guys that we've been able to acquire. I can't name names of guys, you know, per NCAA rules, but very excited about our 2017 class. Got a few more pieces to the puzzle that we need to add, uh, and Bo just really took the lead this summer and did some things that we needed to have done for our program. And with that being said, you know, we're going to uh, have him as our recruiting coordinator moving forward. Uh, talked with, with Tyler about that, talked with Coach Doty, with Sean about that. Everybody's cool. Everybody's on the same page with, with that. But, you know, Bo's earned it. Bo's a, a 49er. Bo works. He, he works his tail off. He's organized. Uh, he's a good evaluator. And he's not going to be riding solo out there being the only guy out recruiting because Coach Doty will still be the decision maker uh, primarily for our pitching recruiting and also be involved with our position players. Uh, Tyler can't go out recruiting, but he's got a lot of connections with people. And a lot of people will contact him with information. Um, so, yeah, and then I'm going to be heavily involved still as well, just making final decisions and kind of being more of a cross checker on the guys that, that Bo may like or the guys that Sean may like. But, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's going to be a great situation for